Good morning, modelers. How are you today? It's Sunday morning. I've just woken up to a delivery. I've just started making the crew for my uh, Marta 3 from Tamiya, and Tamiya's new figures are amazing. Just have a look. I'm just starting to put it together now. It fits together perfectly. But yeah, the new, new figures are really good. I've just painted up a tank guy and um, his face looks unreal. It actually looks better than the mini art ones I'm doing, but the mini art ones I'm doing are some of their older ones. I'll quickly show you them. I'll grab them. They're just here. But I also got a delivery, so I'll show you about that. That's what I want to mainly show you about, but while we're here, might as well crap on about something like an old man. Well, anyway, so here's my figures. This is a mini art one. Mini art. The light's a bit bad, sorry. It's just all the sunlight coming in, the morning sunlight. But he looks all right. He looks pretty cool. But it's the Tamiya one that I'm pretty impressed with. His face looks pretty good. I like him. Like, it's... I like him a lot. He's my favourite. But Tamiya, good idea with the decals. But I do prefer how many out do the insignia, where you can paint it. Because you can just get heaps more, like it more, uh, what would you say, defined? More highlighted, it pops out more when you can paint it. As you can see. But um, I'm not that impressed with the face of mini art, guys. And I suspected that when I was putting them together. But as I said, this is an old kit. It looks fine, it looks good. But yeah, Tamiya's new faces, they really come up good. They really come up really, really good. Just looks really realistic, uh, the, the structure of the face. I'm not talking about the paint job, just the structure. And the, the hands and everything, it just came up really good in the end. Still got a little bit to go on him, just a little bit more washes to go and all that, but all good. Anyway, I'll show you my new products I got. I got this um, washable agent by AK. Don't buy AK's new satin varnish. I've got to fix some things now. It's the third tank it's destroyed. Don't buy it, but I'm going to try this by AK washable agent you add a 10% of this to a paint and it you know um, you can chip it with a brush and that so you know the old um hairbrush method and that yeah this is sort of the new modern way of doing it so I'm going to try that so that'll be fun what else came oh yeah I got some cool figures so set number one I got mini arts special tank crew and that's good. That's cool. It's got all those cool bits in it and stuff like that. Some bonuses. I like how they had the bonuses because um, I lost a part for my Sherman. One of the um, axe heads or something like that. So I'm going to add some of these bonus parts. I also got the German Panzergrenadiers for riding on a tank. They look really good. And I got the Totenkopf, Totenkopf, however the Germans say that. I'm an Australian, I can't say German. An Australian accent is so far from German, it's not funny. Totenkopf Division in Kharkov, 1943. And there they are. Do you guys want to have a look? Because I think they're still in um, the pack. So let's open it and have a look. Whoa, you do get a fair bit of stuff. Oh, and you get an instruction manual. So let's have a look. Oh, heaps of bonus parts. Uh, that first thing is a, I don't know, battery or something. Oh, that's a, pre, uh, what are they? Uh, case for um, maps and that for the officer. Don't know what that is. That's a box. And that's an ammo case. And you also get the machine gun, and the MP40, 
And that's all the stuff you get. Pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed with the first bit. Alright, so I'll open it. Let's have a look. And I'll make them up for you and I'll paint them and I'll show you as I, as I do it. I might work on these because I've got some cool tanks I'm making. Um, I've just sort of started finding one of my hands of fours that I've been working on for ages, like just you know, putting on all the new stuff and I've rebuilt it completely. It was my first model I ever made, the Tamiya Panzer 4 j But I turned it basically into a G model, except it's got an L48 cannon, so we'll just ignore that. Instead of the L43. I was thinking about cutting it down, but it's like, no. Nah. It's just... No, nah. <laughs> that's going too far. Well, let's have a look at the first brew. You get all the bread bags and the helmets. Um, yeah, the helmets do look cool. They've got a lot of detail on them. And then you get two gun sprues, which are exactly the same, which is good. So you'll have spare rifle. And they've got, see, guns open with the open gun case, gun holsters. This is really good. Really good. Get two of those. Uh, you get the machine gun sprue for the machine gunner. And I'm going to use that in my tank. I'm going to put that in in with the next to a spare jerry can. And uh, the, the machine gun looks good. It's a MG42. And you get ammo with it so you can put that on him. And the figures, they got their winter uniforms on, so they got their, their helmet, I mean their winter gear. And all that, mini art generally is good. And then you get a big sprue with all the other guys. So I'm looking forward to doing that, building that. That's good. But I'm making my Marta at the moment. I'm just going to make the crew for that and get that painted. Um, I'm also finishing up these guys. So I'm building the crew for my Mini Art Panzer 3 Os uh, B. Os B. What is it? German? Os Furlung or something? Os Furlung B. Yeah. As I said, we, we're Australians. It's very far from German and Russian and all that. Yeah, cool. These are an older kit, so I've got, oh, well, I haven't built it yet, but that's from Master Box. That looks really cool. I like that. And that one, Master Box, I've been meaning to put them together for a while. Because I was thinking of putting this one with my new tank, but I've got new ideas for it. Because my new tank is going to be um, a Soviet Union fighting one, I'm thinking 1942 the Don. 1942 on the Don. I can see him over there now, he's, he's, he's drying with an undercoat. I'll show him to you soon. But anyway, that's all the new stuff I've got. Thanks for watching.